right, welcome to Summoner's Rift. Wolf down to bot lane now to help out Bang. You know, I'm going to be watching Pickaboo this. Uh oh, Wolf and oh Bangy on the invade. Pickaboo's there. Scores going to get some damage now. Wolf only oh. level two. Pickaboo nice level three. Nice Q for Pickaboo coming in. There's a knockup from Score as well. This could be first blood. It will be goes to Score, and Bangy comes back. In. I'm very curious to see how this Juggerma comp works. We have not seen Juggerma in Korea hardly at all recently. Yeah. It, it's still a strong composition. But I, th I suppose it with the rise oh. of Kogma. Oh, well, Marn comes in to check the red, but Score's already waiting for him. Marn in a lot of trouble. Score deciding not to engage. He's like, well, if you're here, there's got to be other people, but there weren't. Oh, now they're going to chase him wow. anyway. Someday coming in, tries the flash, can't get away. Nagne comes in with the slow. There's a Glitter Lance for the kill. And Nagne picks up one for himself. Super this. greedy from Marn. That was a yeah. pretty bad misplay to try and come in onto Score's red buff like that. Well, they're just waiting for him to go back. KT knows that eventually Bang's going to have to retreat here. He may have that Vamp Scepter, but he is still getting pretty low. Very true. Oh, Pikaboo comes in. Blocking a lot of the damage going in onto Arrow, here. and Bang zoned right in. There's an auto attack, and Arrow takes him out. Oh, that was beautiful. Zoned him forward with the ultimate so he could get into auto range. That was a really nice play from Arrow. Yeah, Arrow's laning has been an issue for KT for a long time, but ever since Pickaboo joined the team again, they really have, Arrow's been doing a lot better in the laning phase, and he, Arrow's team fighting is actually quite good. Yeah. So it's just been about- Speaking of aggressive, Marn has been able to aggressively poke down that turret quite a bit. Oh, someday coming in with the taunt though. Marn needs to be careful here. He's got no Meganar. He's, he may have overextended here. Flash for someday, and he gets the kill in the 1v1. Marn playing things way too dangerously today. Where's Edge? I think right now Nagne is a better choice, though. <laughs> Certainly looking that way. Alt use, there's a knockup on a Faker. He's in a lot of trouble. Stun getting loaded up. No way Faker's getting out of this. And Nagne picks up another kill. Wolf in a bit of danger. He has huh. to back out. And he's in a, a lot of trouble, actually, because Pickaboo and Score are coming up as well, too. Marin has his flash, but he may need more than that to get out of it. He's got Meganar for a few more seconds. Score coming in, gets pushed back by the ultimate Q from Pickaboo, misses, has to use that exhaust. Nice three man stun, but Score comes around anyway, and there's another kill for someday. Contest this next dragon, but. Well, speaking of control, all this jungle control has been letting Arrow just push up bot lane really far. Yeah, he knows Pickaboo and and knock, or Pickaboo and Score are there to back him up if he needs it. Bengi. Yep. Oh, Bengi could be in a little bit of trouble here. There's the knock up. Arrow trying to do some damage. Wolf coming down to try to save him, but Arrow still gets the kill with a direct hit ultimate. More damage onto Bang as well too. Arrow is just already getting so fed. Yep, this is pretty much the worst. Yeah, you do have to be a little bit more judicious when you use. It. Oh, Wolf may be yeah. caught here. Yeah, well, he's got the stun. He has to use it. That's going to mean maybe a kill here. Pickaboo trying to get away. Jumps over to Nogne. Takes a lot of damage. Has to burn that out. There's a shockwave. Can SKT get him the first kill for SK Telecom? And it goes to Wolf. Why didn't somebody going to be able to get much damage? Oh, Marin is low. SKT just left him. Marin having to flash. Faker puts a command protect on him. Is it enough? Doesn't look like it will be. Arrow with another kill. And now KT, are they going to turn and fight? They've taken some damage. SKT in the run, nice two-man taunt coming in from Someday, and that means potentially more kills for KT. Bang running for his life, but Someday is all over him. Someday with a kill on the Bang, and now they're going to be able to track down Wolf, presumably take this Dragon disaster for SK Telecom. Marin's positioning has been a really big issue this game. Knocking on the door of that fifth Dragon. Someday is going to zone Marin out right here. That'll be... A kill for oh score on to Dragon number four. Gets slowed by the Glitter Lance in a lot of trouble, even with that Command Protect. Goes back in, flashes for nice ult. Bengi can do it. Huge shockwave from Faker. Four people caught by this one. This is the moment. This is what SKT has been waiting for. Timbers drop. True Shot Barrage doesn't connect, but they're going to be able to get at least three members. Oh, the explosive cast propelling Someday to safety, and they're going to go right. All right, Rek'Sai wants to come back in. Someday is chunked out. He has TP. So close. SKT, they're going for this dragon. They Rek need Sai to ult. take it. They need to take it. Bengi comes in to try to zone. SKT turns. They go back under the dragon. Now they get it. KT steals the dragon away. They've got all five. And now SKT is in big trouble. Score coming from the side. And Arrow 
is literally an unstoppable juggernaut as they finish off SK Telecom. Wow, Bengi left the Dragon I Pit know. to try and zone out Score. Score got into the pit within smite range and actually just took it out while the rest of KT tied Bengi up. Risky play did not pay off for SK Telecom, and no. now these are long death timers. This is going to be a win for KT Rolster. This is going to be the end of SK Telecom's 17-game win streak. Yeah, and what a way to break it, too. KT with a nearly flawless game number one here. Just that one mistake to give SKT a glimmer of hope, but then snatching it right back away again. GG, KT takes game one. That was a very impressive game, game by KT. SK Telecom. Blown in the bottom side. Pickaboo took a little bit of a dangerous route toward the Dragon. Oh, here we go. Nagne, two shot oh, Barrage. Geez. Chunks him pretty heavily. He's going to wild, him, wild growth himself right away. There's the exhaust coming down from Wolf, and that's going to be first blood for SKT as soon as Faker hits one last auto. There we go. First blood for SK Telecom. Faker picks it up. It was close. Nagne, maybe with a chance of getting away if he had just kind of ran for it, but using your jungler's flash on that. And uh -oh. here we go. Shen coming down, Bang already on the disengage. Wolf slowing him up. There's a flash play from Pickaboo. Bang still there, walks right through the box, tumbling around, exhausted, getting very, very low. Someday dives for it, gets the kill for Arrow, and they're gonna get him out on the land. Faker still no flash. Score coming in, takes some turret hits. They're gonna try to slow him. Faker just arcane chips away. Oh, the Agony's Embrace comes out. Pickaboo gets picked off by that true shot barrage. Nice bait, actually, bringing him right into the clutches of Bengi and SKT. Not done quite yet. Here comes Marin up from the bottom line. Faker with more damage on the Nagne. Nice headbutt pulverize. Another kill for Faker, and SKT has really got the ball rolling now. And KT, they have the right idea there. It's going to be able to live for now, but Faker's still poking quite heavily with that Q. There's the exhaust. They're going to try to flash for a play, but Bang is right there, condemning away Wolf with the body to block all the shots, score coming back. And this is a bit of a messy fight for KT. Bengi gets grabbed, but SKT will be able to continue pushing. And Faker with the kill on to someday. Oh boy, it's the Faker show. Well, there's no one to kill Faker. Basically, if that pick fails, Faker can do whatever the hell he wants because there is... Oh, arrow coming in, here we go. Super secret Shen, Baron or Dragon still goes to SKT. Shen gets in the middle of everybody, but he's on his own. Death sentence on Mar, and that's not the one you want to hook. Pickaboo in a lot of trouble. Marn with a kill there. Exhaust on the arrow. Gets wild growth, but that leaves Nagne vulnerable. Arrow's still getting very low. And how far does SKT want to push this? Faker can just chase this all day, though, man. Here's yep. a QSS. There the oh, the minion. Rain. <laughs> Marn coming in. Ultimate throws somebody near the wall, but Nagne gets locked up under his own turret. Looks like they might get Wolf. Now he's going to get away. What am I talking about? He's Alistar. An APS real. Same with Rumble, actually. Yeah. So you can zone him out of a fight with Equalizer at least do enough burst. Oh boy, Nagne, goodbye. Wow. Nice. That lantern just illuminated his death. Wolf's mechanics. With you have to be on point and nail it, and he has the last couple of weeks. He just does not miss this stuff. All right, they're going to go for Baron. They're going to turn on to Someday. Back on to Baron again. What can Pickaboo do? Coming in, Arrow sneaking around. That cooldown's gonna be gone for a little while. Score maybe come from the other side. SKT turns, they know they've got KT split up. Two shot Barrage oh. takes a big chunk out of both of those guys. Nice ult, oh no! Barn misses him with the Gnar ult though. And Arrow still kiting backwards, but it's a 1v5 now and he is dead. Score comes in just to get the kill on the bang, but that is going to mean a near ace, Nagne alive, only because he died earlier. They are going to just go for the Baron anyway. Yeah, SKT, instant turn off of that Baron. They knew exactly what they wanted to do. No problem actually executing the kill, and now they will get a Baron 100%. Yep, sadly the Vayne will not have the buff, but they will be able to just barely get it with some good... All right, hook on Marin again, not the person exactly that you want to bring closer to your team. Everybody dodges two-shot barrage, but that's going to let SK Telecom come in and take out this turret. Wow, and Nagne getting very, very low. Marin comes in, doesn't use the ultimate. They're going to try something. Pickaboo, whoa, he tried to make a play or something. I'm not sure. And now Arrow, very, very low as well. Faker manages the QSS, that grab. That could have been dangerous, but a double kill for Bang already. Scoring a lot of trouble. Bang! comes in, or Bengi comes in for that kill, and this one, this one, guys, 
is over. Yeah, Super Minions in the bottom side, gonna hit those Nexus turrets very soon. Yep. So SK Telecom rebounds one lopsided game, but they decisively take this one in under 30 minutes. Wow, yeah, and at 29 minutes nearly exactly, SKT takes a resounding game two win. We are all tied up, GG. SK Telecom fans, Little XP advantage. Oh, though. they're gonna go for it. Yeah, oh, that's right. risky. Score coming in. Faker. Oh, there's a stun onto Wolf. Wolf exhausted. First blood though goes to Wolf as he manages to take out score. SKT chasing Nogne can be in a little bit of trouble here. The knockup onto Nogne. And there's a kill for Faker to start things off. Bengi pulled nearly under turret, but it looks like it'll be fine. Oh, there's the anti sun onto Pinkaboo. And Marn picks up a kill. Oh man, it is absolutely calamitous for shield, you might as well go for oh, oh, pick a oh. <laughs> grab on the wolf score. this could be a bit of a trouble they're gonna bring score in as well nagne coming from the side yep i think wolf is in big big trouble score picks up a kill oh, he's gonna oh, get he oh the they're gonna go in and arrow in a little bit of trouble here gets exhausted they're gonna throw the exhaust onto bengi as well from pickaboo here comes wolf trying to do something someday not hesitant to teleport in there another knockup pickaboo trying to escape it here comes faker fighting in a choke again bengi gonna barely live and that's another kill for faker wolf trying to power up that stun but he's not gonna find it on arrow sorry it's time for dives do dive here we go pickaboo and arrow can they stop this timbers dropped immediately pickaboo blown up very very fast he's still alive for now though as shen comes in they're gonna get Thresh first, Pickaboo still goes down, and here comes Faker to clean everything up. Bengi can kind of stay out. Someday an arrow under the turret scores there as well, so SK Telecom. Yeah, you can't just ignore him. Whoa, trying to go in. Chaos Storm drop, Pickaboo in a lot of trouble. Exhaust on Namar, and arrow goes deep, gets brought in actually. Faker with a kill there. I don't know what Corky was doing in that situation. And SKT gonna catch somebody right on the edge of the base, but not quite kill him. They'll take out the tier two. Whoa, Faker manages to pick off Nogne before being moved over by the explosive cast. Now they're gonna go in on to score. Prey Seeker hits him, but it's gonna be an inhibitor for SK Telecom. Yeah, 25 minutes into this one, inhibitor already going down. SKT just making the most out of this Baron buff. Thanks for coming, but I didn't need you. Meanwhile, Bang and Faker on the bottom Whoa. side. Faker, Bang gets pushed in by Nogne's ultimate. They actually get the kill on it, but Chaos Storm doing a lot of damage to Nogne, nearly taking him down. Oh, someday. Comes in. Ah, Death Sentence to Pickaboo. Ah, quite connecting. And here we go, SK Telecom coming in onto this one. Marin gets flayed away, but they do catch Nogne. Bang in a little bit of trouble. He's going to go down again. Nogne picks him off, but then Faker gets him with the Chaos Storm. Someday flashing on the wall. Faker's going to go ahead and chase. Gonna get a turn on to Arrow. There's a double kill for Faker. Goodbye, Pickaboo. You are in big, big trouble now. Triple kill for Faker. They're gonna keep going. They can just end it right here, I think. Yeah, Super Minions in the base, but Faker still wants Whoa, this. Oh, yeah. He's not gonna get it. No. No Penta. No Quadra or Penta. But there go the Nexus turrets. Martin just zoning while his team takes it. And so, a very strong game number one. Woo! A very strong game number one from KT to make SKT sweat a little bit, but in the end, SK Telecom T1 will take the match with a 2-1 victory. There it is, GG. Well, that was the first time that anyone has made SKT sweat. All right, welcome once again to Summoner's Rift. Game one between the Koo Tigers. Uh oh Busy time winding. Oh, Mickey. Here comes Smeb. They get the slow. Oh, That's a lot oh, of damage. Mickey okay. flashes, flash it for Kuro and first blood. It goes over to Smeb. Nice play. Well, meanwhile, in the bot lane, Dink's getting aggressive on Anarchy as well. Prey, though, getting very, very low. Exhaust and the flash kill from Song Yoon. So Anarchy strikes back almost immediately in the bot lane. Yeah. Every year we hear tales of the terror that is watched in solo queue. Hojin flashes out of Twisted Vantix, who appears again. And Hojin's gonna go back towards the wolf camp. Yeah, they're gonna chase him. They're gonna slow down Lyra. Kuro coming in as well, too. Lyra could be in trouble. That's a lot of damage. And Hojin helps Kuro pick up that kill with the Chaos Storm. Yeah, nice job just boxing him in right there, making yep. sure that they weren't going to be able to have an effect. Uh -oh. There's an equalizer going down. They get a flash for it. Nice trade. Flash the conference yeah. thing, you like you open the door really loudly and you come in, you sit down, and it's like, oh, sorry guys. And then like five seconds later, you're, you're like, time self comes in and does it again. Everyone's like, oh, Echo, why can't you just be on time? Ironic. 
Oh, and Kuro tries to make a play, but here comes Lyra. Can he get another kill? He can, but he may pay for it. No, gets out with the ult. Right on time that time. Yeah, and Mickey actually makes that ignite work. The all-in from Kuro fails. He actually was able to cleanse the gold card, but Lyra had enough follow-up damage. Likely thanks to the room blade, uh -oh. but here we go. Equalizer, a lot of damage on the Mickey on the Lyra. Lyra trying to go in on the Hojin. There's a kill though for Smeb, trying to get to Mickey, but Ixu teleports down as well too. Oh, here comes Gorilla, misses his Q, and with the gold card, Mickey will get out despite the ignite. Yeah, barely living there, health potion ticking away. And that means that the Koo Tigers at least equalize that kill. And not only that, but they get a TP advantage too. Yep. So Ray with no two shot barrage was on the normal timing here. Now Lyra coming into the uh -oh, top side. Big gank on the top. There's a gold card on the Smeb. Ixu trying to make a play as well. Smeb turning around. And he's oh, seems very tanky already. But he's still going to get taken out. Mickey grabs a kill there. Gonna threat the top side. Oh yeah, that's right. Smeb could be in trouble yet again. Drops the equalizer. It really doesn't hit anybody. And Mickey going for another kill. Ixu manages to grab that one. Not too much damage with the death ray yet. Yeah, very true. Oh, they catch Mickey. Mickey tries to get out. Two shot barrage goes through. Doesn't hit him. Grill a little bit low. Here comes Maokai on top of everyone. Nice knockup from Snowflower. Who needs to play this so carefully? Equalizer comes down. Traps a lot of Anarchy members. And Hojin just hammering away. Gets the kill onto Ixu for Bray. Curl walking ahead with that Chaos Storm, and here comes Gorilla blocking some damage, allowing Ku to advance onto the Dragon, and Kuro picks up another one onto Song Yoon, and Mickey on the run now. Ku Tiger is gonna get their second Dragon. And Anarchy wanted to go for that, but the zone control for the Ku Tigers. Yeah, as long as Ku control the center of the map, there's a limited amount of split pushing that Anarchy can do safely. Wow, clean. Snowflower taking a lot of damage, has to pop that ultimate. Lyra trying to get in the back lines. Teleport coming in. Wow, they get the kill on the Lyra very quickly. Two shot Prowl not doing a whole lot. That's a big equalizer, though, coming in for Smep and Hojin just pounding people with those hate spikes. Gorilla manages to pick up the kill on the Snowflower. It's supportal combat, and Ku want to follow it up. Prey flashing ahead. Oh, Gorilla with the double kill. Nice. <laughs> Stole that one. The Braum I double. Approve. Coming through in the end. Well, Koo Tigers right there, they baited out that. Oh, that turret just took a decent amount of damage just in the few seconds that they were there. Oh, they're gonna try to make a play here. Nice big knockup from Snowflower. Equalizer comes down on top of the entire Anarchy team, though. Mickey Zonia's, will he live through it, though? Snowflower manages to pick off Prey. Couple kills coming in for Anarchy. Can they finish this one off? No, Hojin doing way too much. Man, they spent a lot of time on that equalizer. And Ku coming in, Kuro with the double kill, and he's not done yet. Really <laughs> wants that triple on the Song Yoon, but oh, 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 close. Yeah, Kuro not getting another. Ku Tigers taking a fourth dragon, and it looks like Anarchy may go for a Baron here. Wow, they're gonna go on to Smeb. Trying to catch him. There's equalizer used, Zonia's as well. Oh, burning my. Mickey. Wow. There goes Smeb, but man, Mickey took a lot of damage, and is that enough to prevent Anarchy from getting this Baron? Yeah, it is, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, uh, a bit of a siege. Oh, Mickey gets very, very low. There's a Braum ult, Zonia's used. Mystic Shot does not find his target. They're gonna go back in, grow a little bit low. Ku Tigers may have overstepped just slightly. They take out Mickey, but Anarchy coming in hard onto this Ku team. And wow, double kill for Smeb, turning it right around again. Anarchy has to back away. Snowflower comes in to try to make a play once more, but Song Yoon gets taken out, a double kill for Bang. And here and we go, the GG. super minions already on the Nexus turrets. Lyra, the last man alive. Nothing he can do about this one. Four seconds, what, not Smeb gonna be lived? enough. Yeah, somehow <laughs> Smeb lived, and that's it. So Ku Tigers, a pretty exciting game. 31 kills, make that 32 kills to end it. And Ku Tigers take game one, GG. Yeah, Ku in control of that game. Once again to Summoner's Rift. Kuro in a little bit of trouble, flashes out of the two shot barrage and now they're gonna turn on to Lyra there. Flash knockup onto Lyra, Smeb comes back in. Helps. Yeah, so Anarchy has to start this dragon. They don't have a choice, even though they yep. don't have the speed try. That's right, will we see Smeb come in or are they just gonna take the top lane turret? Kuro back doing like blue or wolves or something. Yeah, he needs to get there I feel like. Oh, here he comes now. Fires a Q through the team, not bad. Teleport coming in, Smeb is going to be on the scene. Meanwhile, Ixu gets into the back lines, a lot of damage onto Kuro. They pop that summoner heal, now the heal from Gorilla helping out a lot. Even despite the L from Lyra, they're going to take him down. Anarchy 
trying to make something happen. Mickey manages to snipe Hojin. Dragon taken by Ku during all this, too. Prey goes in. Double kill for Mickey now. Oh, Prey. That and was Anarchy. a terrible Triple battery. kill. Oh, man. He just went straight into the crowd control from Anarchy. Witness me, brother. <laughs> that TP. fight, too. Yeah, they're going to try to make a play onto Ku's bot lane here. Ray could be in trouble. They're going to dive the turret with Sangin right there as well. It's going to be easy. Lyra picks one up, and now they're going to get the turret as well. Could get worse, I suppose. They could be knocking on your nexus. Oh, hello. Mickey with the Zonias after Arcane shifting into a dangerous spot. No more CC, though. Mickey fighting. Tries to go after Gorilla. Gorilla fails his flash. Here comes Snowflower, and Mickey picks up another one. Okay, it's worse. It's definitely worse right now. Now, uh, Gorilla is going to kill Kuro. Or oh, he's a snap though. Arcane shift over the wall. They're going to chase him. Prey comes in for some revenge. <laughs> he's like, how do you like my Valkyrie now? <laughs> Could have taken the Ezreal themselves as well, too. They're going to find Snowflower in the river, though, and Kuro's going to be able to pick, a ki pick up a kill that way. So nice grab by the Ku Tigers. They'll have the better front line. Oh, just going right onto this dragon. Praise right there, though. They could take a lot of damage. Equalizer comes out, pushes Anarchy back. There's Kuro, gets the ultimate off. That helps quite a bit. Twist advance back onto Prey, but they're going to take out Ixu so fast. True Shot Barrage did a ton of damage. And Ku backing off for the moment. Snowflower nearly picked off by that piercing arrow. Mickey still being a big threat here as Ku goes for their second dragon. Song Yun can poke as well. Ku manages to muscle their way in and get that second dragon. Well, so is Ixu going to come in with the big engage? He's already recalling. He has home guard. Shabraj used this turret, though, taking a lot of damage, and there's still more minions. Here we go. Meanwhile, the flank coming in from Anarchy. They take out the turret. Maokai coming from behind. Snowflower there as well, too. Slowed down by the Hail of Arrows. Hojin goes underground. Ixu tries to get in there. Nice equalizer and coup. Protected with that ultimate, starting to do a lot of poke damage. A kill for Smeb already. Big arrow comes through and hits Mickey. Prey comes in for the kill onto Ixu and Ku chasing this one. Song Yun very low as well, too. So somehow, some way, Ku Tigers still landing enough poke damage to win these team fights. The Tigers got even more. Uh, TB, TB, TB. Oh, oh, where are they going? Yeah, going to mid lane, trying to go after Lyra and Song Yun. Can they catch him? Doesn't look like it. Oh, but they did catch Snowflower, though, and Kuro should be able to get a kill even with that ultimate used. Yep, goodbye. <laughs> Zoned by the Prey Seeker. Makes sense. Oh, Mickey was knocked up by that Whirlwind, took a pretty big amount of damage. Oh, well. they found Lyra. Yeah, they did, and Ixu in a lot of trouble, too. This thing, this is not looking good for Anarchy right now. Lyra over the wall. Here comes Prey. There's the Equalizer, not Equalizer, the Valkyrie used. It's on oh, rolling, no. oh. straight to the Nexus. The sixth man. Oh, goodbye. Kogma and goodbye hopes of victory for Anarchy. There's Azonia's Smeb blocking. Ixu trying to come in, but not a lot of damage. Mickey doing what he can, but Kuro gets a double kill at the end of all that. Nice heal from Gorilla. Full channel Janna ultimate. And that is going to be it as the Ku Tigers take the 2-0 over Team Anarchy. GG. Well, that was a bit touch and go for the Tigers, but again, we've seen this from them. When it push comes to shove against every team